Hello graduates, Paul Cross here. I am so delighted to address you here in this time of graduation. Uh, you and I have something in common. You may not be aware of this, but uh, you're the class of uh, 22, uh, 2022. I, I was the class of 1972. I've often told you that I'm not good at math, but I can do the arithmetic, and if you do the arithmetic real quick, uh, this year marks my 50th anniversary of graduating from high school. Uh, 50 years. Uh, some of your parents weren't born 50 years ago. It, it shows kind of what, what a fossil uh, your pastor is. Nevertheless, I'm excited for you because what's happening to you t uh, today in this time is that you're entering phase two of your life. Phase two is an amazing time. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen in your phase two. I hope it's only the best. I, I truly do. Uh, when I uh, entered my phase two, I wasn't even 18 years old yet. I wouldn't be 18 for another uh, a couple of days. Uh, nevertheless, I entered phase two and off we were. Uh, who knows what would happen? Who knows what would bring me here to Fargo, North Dakota 50 years later? But in that phase two, regardless of what I was aware of, regardless of uh, my proximity to the church, which wasn't really close when I started phase two, I knew that I wasn't alone in phase two. And one thing I want you to know is that regardless of where you go in phase two, you're not going to be alone either. The psalmist writes this, where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me shall be as night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. I don't know where phase two is going to take you, friends. I do know that God will be with you there, wherever it might be. You might be unaware of it, and there might be some places that you go that you might be just a little embarrassed that God is there with you. I know I can certainly say that. Nevertheless, God will be with you, and I want you to know that as a comfort and an encouragement for the rest of your days as you go through phase two. God bless each and every one of you. Accepted, 
redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. Sing that again. We were the beggars. Now we are royalty. We were the prisoners. Now we are running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the And we won't be quiet We shout out your praise There's joy in the house of the Lord Our God is surely in this place And we won't be quiet We shout out your praise There's joy in the house of the Lord There's joy in the house of the Lord today And we won't be quiet We shout out your praise There's joy in the house of the Lord Surely in this place And we won't be quiet We shout out your praise 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 praise. seniors of 2022 all i want to say to you is woohoo huh and saying that reminds me of psalm 100 so let's listen to the first line of psalm 100 make a joyful noise to the lord all the earth there are all kinds of joyful noises going on for you right now as you graduate but as i read this psalm i realized that it has a lot of imperatives an imperative is something that we should do and i'm thinking that the imperatives in here are going to help you in life in the next weeks in the next months in the years to come so listen it's like make a joyful noise an imperative be joyful in your life serve the lord you will find nothing better than if you serve God and serve other people. It'll always give you that joy. Come into his presence with singing. Don't forget about worshiping the Lord. Don't leave him behind as you go forward in life. Know that the Lord is God. There's no better relationship you'll ever have in your life than the relationship that you have with your Savior Jesus Christ and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made you. You are His. You are His people, and you're a sheep in His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Enter. Don't forget about worshiping with the community that you've grown up with. Stick with them. And it says, enter His gates with thanksgiving. And the next thing says, give thanks to him. Give thanks. Everything you have is from God. Everything that you have. Yes, you will have a job. Yes, you will earn money. But you wouldn't have that without God behind it. And then it says, after give thanks to him, bless his name. Bless. Always give honor to the Lord because everything you have is his He has given it to you. And do you know why you do all of this? The last verse, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. He's never going to leave you. He will always be with you. This is a joyful time, but in the future, and as you know from life already, there are times that are really hard. And so know that he will be with you forever. He will never leave you or forsake you. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Woohoo! I'm so happy for you. God bless you. Know that we, your church family, are always here for you. And I love you. Hey, seniors of uh, 2022, uh, I want to say congratulations on everything that you've accomplished, all your hard work and and want to bless you into your next adventure. Uh, you guys are, are special to me. Um, uh, you were the first confirmation class that I got to be a part of. 
uh, when I came here to uh, Atonement uh, three, four years ago. Wow, it's been that long already. So um, I want to share with you something that, that we talked about back then to take with you. Um, there's a, a verse in, in the Psalm, Psalm 4610, which is very special to me, and I use it daily um, or whenever I, I start feeling anxious or like I'm feeling out of control. It, it says, be still and know that I am God. And when you say it in Hebrew, it sounds like this, Rafa yada anoki Elohim. And sometimes I'll just say that to myself over and over again if I'm feeling overwhelmed and it centers me and reminds me uh, what my true identity is. And you have that same identity, that you are a child of God, made in the image of God, and that He is with you. Uh, be still and know that I am God. Uh, whatever your adventure is, the world is a, is a big place, it's an exciting place. Uh, there's a lot of voices out there that will try to tell you who you are uh, or what you should be. Um, hold on to that promise that you are God's own, God's beloved, that He is with you. Again, congratulations. Very proud of you guys. Hey seniors, congratulations. You've made it. You've made it to this next phase of your life. You've completed this uh, rite of passage. As you graduate high school and move on, I just wanted to share a couple things with you. First of all, from Psalm 1, it talks about, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, but delights in the law of the Lord. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yield its fruit in season, and its leaf does not wither. As you go forward, as you go on to this next phase of life, you're going to run into all kinds of new ideas. You're going to run into all kinds of people that will challenge your faith. But I want you to know that God is here for you. God goes with you wherever you are. And if you plant yourself in streams of water, if you take some time to keep God in your life by reading through the Psalms when you need to, if you need to learn how to pray, read through the Psalms by finding a community wherever you go, your life will be blessed. My life is blessed from that. I've done it. I've run into all kinds of people that have uh, offered new ideas and other things, but I always find that my relationship with Christ is what gives me peace and joy. That's what I wish for you. Congratulations, seniors. Have a great uh, beginning of the next year. Wherever you're going next, I wish you well. Well, it's been great to be together today, graduating seniors in your families. Uh, thanks for tuning in to watch this baccalaureate celebration. Um, we're so excited to be able to celebrate with all of you for all that you've accomplished so far and all that will come in your future in the next chapter of your lives. And I know that some of you may be really, really excited and wow, yeah, keep that excitement going. Really enjoy these last few days of your senior year. Enjoy your graduation. Enjoy the next Next chapter of your life that you get to start. I know that some of you may be nervous as well as you don't know what's coming next, as you, you know what you're leaving behind, but you know, what is next year going to look like? You're not really sure, but that is also okay too. And I just want to encourage you in that as well, that it's all part of the process, that nervous part. Um, but let yourself look forward to what is going to happen next. Let yourself 
be excited about that um, because there's so much good in store for you and God has a plan for your life as I'm sure you've heard a million times but he he knows everything that you're doing he knows each step that you take and he'll be with you all the way through it from now till forever he is with you he's got you so um, what I would like to do for you now is just to pray for all of you seniors so let's pray Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all of our graduating seniors this year, God. I thank you for bringing them to atonement. I thank you for their families, bringing them to atonement, God. Um, thank you that we get to be a part of their lives and a part of um, their story that you're writing for them, God. Lord, I pray that as these graduating seniors finish up their last several days of school, of high school, that you would just be with them, God, that you would help them to really enjoy their last days there that they get to have and remind them too that they can always come back. They can always come back to Fargo. They can always come back and visit um, their friends and their classmates um, from high school. That's not, it's not over forever, God. Remind them of all of the good blessings that you've given them. And I pray that they would rejoice in you for all of the good blessings that you've given them over the course of the last um, 18 or so years that they've been, um, been going to school and whatnot, Lord. And Lord, I also just pray that as they graduate and as they move on to the next chapter in their lives, whether it be college or work or whatever it is that they're doing next, God, um, that you would just be with them, that they would know that you're with them that you would bless their steps as they go, that you would fill them with the power of your Holy Spirit. Um, we know that as they leave, they have, um, they have um, things that they're excited about. God, these students have things that they're nervous about. God, these students have questions about what does it mean to follow Jesus as they graduate high school? They have questions about you, God. And so Lord, I just pray that you would meet them in those questions as they um, go off and start living their life in a, in a different way than they have so far. Uh, whether that means they're on their own at college somewhere or um, they're just in a completely new environment that's different or they're just no longer in school. So what do they do from day to day? God, I pray that you would meet them there and that you would provide for them people who will, who will answer their questions, help them answer their questions about you. People who will help guide them in their walk with Jesus and that they would really seek you, God, as they graduate. And Lord, I know that you'll go with them. We know that you finished the good works that you've started. And so we trust that you will do that for these students and for their families as well. Um, we know that you're faithful, God. And so we trust that you will do that, that you'll go with them. And so Lord, I just pray that as we close this time together, that um, these students and their families would be drawn closer to each other and closer to you and that they would know that you're with them and that you will be blessing their future um, as they seek you, God. And we pray all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so now receive this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
favor be upon you in a thousand generations in your family in their children in their children in their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your coming and your going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you 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 Father, we thank you for this time together. We ask now that you go with us and be with us today. In Jesus' name we pray.